my real ones, my real ones, my real ones. Run it up with my real ones, run it up with my real ones. Coming up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones. I only fuck with the real ones, real ones, my real ones, my real ones. My real ones, my real ones, run it up with my real ones, run it up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones. I only fuck with the real ones, real ones, my real ones, my real ones. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is... Are you fucking serious? As in... Uh, this is where it came down to, dog. This is where it came down to. At this point in time in America... At this point in time in America, you can get the police... I don't actually I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Um before we get into that shit, um we do have a sale going on. Also, before I go into that, go get olive leaf extract. Get the olive leaf extract. When I was going through my um whatever the fuck that was, when you start working out your body start doing other shit, man. Um Shit started exploding out my face. Like I still got burns on my shit. Uh, cause I'm not gonna stop working out. You know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers said it's natural and shit like that. But that olive leaf extract really got me through that time. I sat down, you know, at nighttime I just sit down, watch I binge watch Netflix and shit like that. Um, but it really accelerated the healing. I really felt the difference. Shout out to uh, my people over there at Olive Leaf Extract. Make sure that you fuck with that uh, the long way. Um, and I'll tell you more about that later on. Also, we have a um, clearance going on with the t-shirts. We're bringing in the winter inventory. Um, we're pushing out um, $40. You get the Big Facts Podcast t-shirt, Are You Serious t-shirt, and the Man 2 t-shirt, and the Big Face Podcast Scully. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Um, put your order in, put your address in, put your size in. That's all we need, and, and we're going from there. We got miscellaneous sizes, um, and that's why we're doing the clearance like we're doing it. Uh, we're just getting all that back stock out there. So handle your business. All right, I think we've reached a new low at this point, and as I've said, I feel like we have to reach that low in order for us to make any change. It seems like a lot of people, most people, won't do anything about their circumstances until they've hit rock bottom. 
once you hit rock once you hit rock bottom, then you understand, like, yeah, maybe I need to do something about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is fucked up. Like, I, I got, this This shit ain't where it's supposed to be at. Like, I'm fucked up bad. It's not until you... <clears throat> walk, walk inside your house and, and, and there's snakes everywhere. And you start eating pieces of drywall off the ground because... In your mind, they're peels. And you walk back outside and start playing. Can you can you find the CIA agent? And then your mom pulls up and asks you what you're doing outside. And you tell her that you're playing hide and go seek. It's some bullshit. But it's not until you get slip acid uh, that you stop popping peels. Somebody got to make you believe that they're giving you a fucking tab and it turned out to be acid and that's when you stop um because before that nothing's gonna make you stop so you have to hit rock bottom and some people never their rock bottom is death um and in this situation bring it back where we're at now to where a father cannot bury his daughter um that's rock bottom and i'm hoping that that rock bottom will allow both sides to see We went too far. Because as a woman, you watch this video of this man not being able to bury his daughter, and you see women, you know, ah, you know, because a child is a died, and, and a, a child is is so magnetic. It 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 brings everyone together because the child is just so innocent before the personality and before the, the character flaws even set in, like, it's just a blank slate. Like, how could you hate a child? But there are ways. Child is kind of like a, a, a plain white t-shirt. And your character flaws are like, die. And what happens is, as a child grows up, they get dipped in and out of your tub. And, 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 and uh, so let's say life is a tub and your character flaws are die inside the water and inside the tub. And the, the child, as life, they get dipped in and in. So this, the child starts taking color. So let's say that the father is black die and the mother is red die. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, whatever the child is dipped in most, you know, but... It's, I mean, that that's a hard analogy because, you know, it can go so many ways. So I'm going to jump out the analogy before I get fucked up. Um, but I'm sure y'all can take it over in the comment section. But child is innocent. That's the meaning. Um, and any flaw that the child has, you can overlook it and look straight at the motherfucker that's raising the child and say, this is your fault. This is your fucking fault. This child shouldn't know cuss words. This child shouldn't be only calling her father when she wants money. Only coming to do counter surveillance. Reporting back to her father or mother telling what's going on and that's the only reason the father or mother allowed Let's stop that father mother shit. The only reason the mama sent the child over there We, we ain't no ain't fuck that PC shit Bitch because to be honest with you before we gonna take this shit left to be honest with you because if it was a, if, if, if the father was raising a child I hope I and you know what the only reason I gotta say both sides because it's a lame ass nigga out there that is sending that got custody of the child and only sending the child over there to the mama so he can find out who she fucking now. And we gotta get out of that shit, man. When the child comes, your life is over. That's what it is. And the quicker that we understand that, the quicker we can come to a resolution 
to this fucked up situation. The problem is, after the child is born, you still, uh, maybe I should go the other way because It, this, like I said, this shit is rough, man. It's, this, this is rough. It, it, this is hard to even talk about, man, because it's like, I don't, and you know what? Fuck the minority. At the end of the day, the majority of children are going home with their mothers. The mother does not want to stop hunting for baby fucking fathers and stepdads. And nigga, she can post on fucking social media so she can make the, the, the nigga mad or some shit like that. That's her whole goal. You still hitting the club. If you go to the club and you have a child that is two years old or younger. You a nothing ass bitch. Fuck that shit. Now we doing, dog. If your child is two years old or younger and you've been to the club, you are a nothing ass bitch. If you will leave your child with any fucking body and go in it to in it to, to a club, I'm, I, I'm I know you have to take a break at times. But if your break is to go to the club, like that's what you want to do. Like you want to jump back into the motherfucking saddle. Like fuck it. This baby daddy left. I gotta go find it. I gotta go. Like, niggas or people, you know, some people gamble with fucking lottery tickets. I, I missed on this lottery ticket. I'm going back to get another one. Um, You gamble with men. And every man that you're with, you have to bring forth life from him for some fucking reason. You're a nothing ass bitch. Not even just for the child part, for just fucking these niggas raw like that, bitch. A nigga can fuck hoes raw as much as he wants. Man, we not gonna play this goddamn game. Like it's the same shit. No, it's not the same shit. A nigga has to penetrate you and put something into your body. And you just saying just come willing as long as you smell good? Long as you look fresh, long as you got a gun, long as you got this. You can fuck me raw. There is no father that will be proud of a daughter that does that, period. But a mother can be proud of a son that has a lot of hoes. That's what the fuck it is. That's real life. We're different. Man, I, 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 you know, I, I really want to do a story on this, on this, um, some fucking, um, I, I, I think her name, his name is Nikki Tutorials. It's a makeup artist, which further proves my point about witchcraft. Makeup being witchcraft. This motherfucker said, it come, she, he came out saying, yeah, I want to come out and tell everybody that I'm a man. I was born a man. So this is a transgender. Uh, yeah, you know, some parties are trying to blackmail me, whatever the fuck. So she has a boyfriend of years and shit like that. And yeah, I just recently told him, and I think his name Dylan or some shit like that. Um, I just recently told him, and uh, and he's he's still here with me. We're working through it. And I'm like, and I go in the comment section to see if anybody's on the same wavelength as me. Um... When the story was presented and she said that she told the dude they've been dating for this long and you just told him in this short span. And he's all, oh man, it's all, you know, and they're working through it. He didn't just run out the door. I'm like, like how the fuck is he just now finding out? Like, is science that fucking good? Science is that fucking good that you can be dating somebody for years and they just in the upcoming weeks. I, You know, you, you see that shit on Maury or Jerry Springer. I want to tell y'all I was born a man. Like, but you think that's just bullshit TV. 
this actually like you didn't know that this was a dude that you've been fucking for this amount of years. She had to t he had to tell you it was he was a fucking dude. That was my no one said this in the comment section. That was on uh, Lovely T's channel. Some shit about uh fuck is the motherfucker name. Um Now, also on top of that story, uh, the transgender should have been put in jail for not, and it's like, but you can't do nothing against uh, those people because you'll get killed, obviously. You do anything with the, if you do anything against the alphabet community, obviously you, the, the punishment is instant death. So they can do whatever the fuck. It don't matter that she lied by omission for fucking years and you're just now telling a person that they've unwillingly been sleeping with a fucking dude but don't worry about that part just we're just be happy that i came out right now and the only reason motherfucker came out is because somebody was blackmailing them if the blackmail never happened motherfucker would have kept going with the fucking lie i say all this to say that these are our current circumstances. This is where we're at in our country right now. With all of these weird things going on, it's amazing how we go back to our primal instinct when we're in pain. When we're in pain, all of this bullshit ass malarkey that we throw out there, all oh, this, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, all that, these bullshit paperweight fucking standings that we have disappear. Now we're all on one fucking accord. Meaning, man, woman, and child, we're all on this side of the police barricade wondering why we can't mourn, grieve. For our um, deceased loved one. Now as a woman. You stand with me. And you just as mad as I am. You look at that child. Look at the man's sister. Look at the man's mother. The man's aunt. They're wondering. How in the fuck. Can the police be standing in front of us. Not allowing us to see. Our loved one. Be buried. Be put to rest. Because she said so, y'all are doing what she says. But the thing is, if they had a dude, I'm talking about his sister now, his sister, his aunt, his mother, whatever the fuck. If they had a dude that they didn't want to come to their child's funeral, they would do the same fucking thing. This is my issue. You stand with me now because now you're you're having to feel my pain that I go through daily as a fucking man. The system is all against me. I have no allies within the fucking system. Because the system doesn't have their hand up my ass. I'm not the system's puppet. But as a willing nothing ass bitch... You will be the system's puppet. And once you give up your soul and let them stick their hand up your ass and, and, and you become their puppet, now you got their protection. So no matter how fucking ludicrous, retarded the request is that you ask, they will um, oblige you. Hey, um... My daughter died, and I and um, you know I sold my soul to you, so I don't want him to be able to come. I don't want uh, my child's father to be able to come to see uh, my child be put to rest. They don't even think about what well, that's. It's crazy you call him your child because the reason that he has to pay us every month and the reason why we have him by the balls is because you proved to us that it wasn't just your child; it was you guys' child, y'all's child, both of y'all. That question never crosses their fucking mind. And if you ask somebody, they'll, the first thing they'll fucking do is try to transfer you to somewhere else. 
But this is not something that the sister, auntie, mother has to go through. This was just the luck of the draw that we actually were able to achieve rock bottom. Now that we're at rock bottom, we get to see how filthy and how fucked up it is. The most extreme condition. Now we get to see the issue isn't like, fuck the dumb bitch. Fuck her. Of course she's going to be mad. Like, it's like a, a child being throwing a tantrum tantrum because you won't buy them a cookie. It's a child. What do you expect? It's a, it's a dog. It, you going crazy over a dog about, you know, shit in the house and shit like that. And you want to have an hour long fucking um, conversation with a fucking dog about shit in the house. It's a dog. What you should be getting mad at is the person who talks to the dog for an hour. What you should be getting mad at is the adult that appeases that child throwing a tantrum tantrum. And what you should be mad at is not the bitch that's, that's a nothing ass bitch. How does she have the power to enlist the fucking people that are indebted to the community to protect and serve? How was she able to put a, in black and white, a order that says they can't bury their fucking daughter? He can't bury his daughter. You know, you watch the video, you hear uh, a part about not being able to go to the fucking hospital to see his daughter who has cancer. Us knowing that morale is one of the biggest, you know, contenders of cancer. If you want to fight cancer, you have to keep your morale up. You don't think that de depressed the fucking child? Do you think the mother gave a fuck that the child was depressed because she couldn't see her fucking family? Her father? And that right there is what you needed to see. These nothing ass bitches and this proves to you, this shit is, is biracial. This is not a, 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 a African-American fucking situation. This is shit. This shit is a fucking mindset. And I told you that the nut, it's a nothing ass bitch consciousness. This is why when a nothing ass bitch goes on the internet, liver galore goes on the internet and say, he beat me and shit like that. You can all black China says that, you know, the, uh, a nigga fucking, after everybody sees that how aggressive and fucking retarded she is on the show, she can get on and, and get Lisa Bloom and get a, yeah, I, I feel like the, the porn that he put out, he just hurt me so bad. After this whole, got a whole porno out that you can buy. It's a nothing ass bitch consciousness and they speak telepathically. If one nothing ass bitch is in trouble, we all are because that's our way of fucking life. How much do you want to bet that it's nothing ass bitches in the comment section of that video, that man being permitted, permitted, prohibited from laying his child to rest? How much you want to bet is some nothing ass bitches under there saying, I bet he did something. Shit, he probably ain't a good father anyway. I hate when fathers try to come at the last minute. That is the nothing ass bitch protocol. Whenever there's a nothing ass bitch in trouble, disregard it, act like you don't see it, and go straight at the fucking man. No matter what good he's doing. Speculate. Fuck it. Speculate like a motherfucker. Go find some shit. Make some shit up. Do not go at her. That is our way of life that's being threatened. Never admit that some that's it's fucking uh, the uh, future baby mamas. Do you know that Eliza Rain, the seventh baby mama, and I think the sixth one, them bitches got together 
they got together after one the six baby mama uh her shit got uh like uh granted that yes that is future's child eliza rain after chase trying to chase down future for the parent uh, uh, um paternity test the six baby mama said hey come over here she just get the blood from uh and i bet it was some nothing ass bitches online that came up with it and hit them up like yeah that's because they dumb as fuck so she went over there and got a blood this six baby mama subjected her fucking child to having to you know do another fucking blood test which was probably a shot put a needle in her child so that the seventh baby mama can get a check Nothing ass bitches come together like Voltron. If one of us lose, we all lose. If they pull back the fucking curtains and see what the fuck we're doing and see how disgusting we are, it's over for all of us. So by all fucking means, anybody talk about weave, makeup, nothing ass bitches, uh, uh, bitches being prostitutes, Cut they head off. Pay, just pay attention. Pay attention when a nothing ass bitch speak and then someone speaks out against. Why, look how the motherfuckers attack. Like a swarm. Like a swarm of hyenas and, and fucking wild beasts. And to destroy their fucking enemy totally and utterly. It's their way of life. And, and, it, and it makes you think, like, with with them being as chaotic as they are, so much so, See this shit live. Cause I told you.